If you're looking to get out of the regular rut of chicken and beef, get ready because today we're going to teach you how to cook a perfect duck. And to do that, we're joined by Christopher Ramirez from the Blue Rock Restaurant in Shelburne Falls. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks Steph. How does one get started with a duck? Well, we are going to start very simply. This is one of the more simpler dishes. Uh, anyone can do this at home. You can find it, uh, you know, a local butcher. And so mm -hmm. we're going to have you season the duck, and then we're going to start our acorn squash and get that in the oven. All right. So I assume I should probably roll my sleeves you up should. if I'm Let seasoning me grab it a out duck. Of the fridge here. And you brought. This is a great fall recipe because you're really highlighting all the fun things that are in the farmers markets and local products this fall. Yeah, I really like to use uh, seasonal products. The farmers come. They have really uh, amazing produce and uh, fall is sort of the time of the year when all the squashes, the apples, the pears. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you kind of go all summer long and then you wait for the for the nice fall uh, ingredients. So let's so, season this duck. Sure. So here's I've a, never uh, seasoned the duck before. Okay, good. I'm kind of nervous. So this is just a uh, a duck breast that I've broken down. Okay. Um, I've trimmed and I've scored uh, the top of it. Okay, it's gonna bring it over here. Sure. So that everybody at home can see my mistakes that are about to happen. Sure, sure. So I just did a, a, a cross hatch on the top. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna season it with some thyme, sage, uh, salt, and uh, cracked black pepper. So, Chris, did you do the cross hatch to get it so that you can get more seasoning in there? Well, the idea with the duck is it has this top uh, fat cap on it. So, what we wanna do is open that up uh, so we can get closer to the meat and a lot of this fat's going to render off and create a really crispy skin. Which... So you, you want to season the inside, the part that you're going to end up eating. Absolutely. So I'm putting a little bit of salt. Yep. Okay. And ooh, it's a little chunky. That's okay. Just, yep, there you go. Oh, squeeze refine your, it squeeze in my your, fingers. In as your I, fingers. There you that go. That makes a yep. little bit more sense. Yep. And then you got uh, some thyme and sage. All right. Is there a thing, such thing as over seasoning? Because I'm pretty partial to seasoning. Um, you know, with herbs, I think you can go as heavy as you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, salt, I would also, you know, I would, you know, generally be careful with the with the salt. That's you can true. always season at the end. It's hard to take the salt out. So do I need to mash it in there? Or? Yep. Go ahead and uh, push the spice in. Okay. Yep, push it right in. Um, this is good to do, you know, up to 20 minutes, a half hour before. Um, you know, once once the seasoning's on there, we sear it in a pan. It's going to have that nice flavor in there. All right. So, shall we start the searing process? Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in our pan. We see our pan's hot, ready to go. And you know it is when the olive oil just starts moving real yep, quick. Yep. And you're going to see a little bit of shimmer. Um, you want to be careful that it's not smoking. Okay. And if you, if that happens, just go ahead and turn it down. So that means it's too hot. A little too hot. Yep. Let's get this sizzling. So right. fat side down first? So fat side down, we're actually going to cook the duck probably 80% of the way uh, on the fat cap. So that what, what that's going to do is render off the extra fat. I have trimmed off the extra fat, mm -hmm. um, and that's going to enable it to get really crispy on one side, render out the fat, um, and then we'll, we'll flip it over, finish it in the oven, and then it'll t only take three or four minutes on the, oh. on the back end. Now, so. Chris, a lot of people at home might not have tried duck before. What's the taste like? Is it similar to anything that we might know? Um, duck. You know, it's it's. I wouldn't say it's gamey. I would say it's a little more flavorful and intense than chicken. Uh -huh. um, you know, it has uh, a light liver flavor to it. Oh, okay. Um, and duck is an interesting uh, product because it's it's foul, so like chicken, but you can eat it rare. And uh, and real quickly too, we're making a squash, uh, an acorn squash dish. A so roasted acorn squash. This uh, we're running out of time for now, but yeah, just describe it to us. And, sure, uh, sure. Let so you basically, get to it. I uh, I quarter the squash and I seed it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to rub it with just some olive oil and salt and pepper and, and bake it. Um, the idea is to pull out the natural flavor of the squash. And you took the skin off too, I presume, because you're not no, supposed to eat no, the skin. No, I I roast it whole for for color and effect. Um, oh, okay. And when I played it, uh, people kind of, you know, it's nice and soft and you can pull it right off of the off the skin. Well, Chris, I want you to stick around because I'm not done learning things yet and I want to try a piece of that duck. So sure. thanks a lot. Sure. Stick around sure. and we're going to finish up this recipe a little bit later on in the show.